I recently stumbled upon an ad on Reddit for an app called Caliber. Um, it's supposed to be a 100% free strength training app with no ads, no paywalls, no third party tracking. They do make money with live coaching. And I thought, okay, maybe let's try it out. And I was a little bit overwhelmed at first and I wanted to know why. So I thought, okay, maybe this is a good opportunity to make another video. And today I'm going to show you my process of making a UX review for such kind of app. So before I'm going to show you my process, I'm going to show you some results. Um, this is not polished or anything, this is a work document. And I have three major findings. And the first one is a lot of text and explanations are in the app or steps you have to go through to actually finish the onboarding. Then there's the information that disappears and I don't know where to find it again. There's sometimes a pop-up message and you can close it or maybe you don't want to read it at that time and then yeah, there's no place to find it again. And then while actually using the app for the workouts, I noticed there's uh, also room for improvement to optimize the whole flow during the workout so you don't have to interact too much with your smartphone. And now we're going to jump to the process. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly show you my process and give you some pointers how I actually approach such kind of review. Um, first of all, it's mostly taking a lot of screenshots. Um, I try to go through every screen and identify small issues. If I find something, I already put a quick post-it note next to it. But basically this is uh, for understanding how everything is structured and uh, get a feeling for the app. And also later on you can uh, look through the board and find something you've noticed way easier than going through the app again. So um, this is yeah the whole landscape of the app and imagine discussing the app with a product person showing them you've done your homework you know what's where and the discussion may, might be way easier than if you've never actually seen a certain function or a screen so um, after all the screenshots um, you see here I take a bunch it just takes a while it's a big app um, once I've taking all the screenshots or most of the screenshots, I try to organize them, make it look a little bit better and also work out what's what, uh, try to label things like here is the onboarding, this is the uh, welcome screen and I try to understand, like create a mental model of the whole app, of the whole structure and um, Sometimes I even capture things outside of the app. For example, in this case, uh, I captured my emails I got from the app because um, overall I noticed the issue of too much uh, text, too much communication and the emails added into the whole um, that's a lot theme. So um, here we go through the ordering. Once I'm done with that, I try to create a rough mind map of the app to actually see if I've missed anything to get a good like um, organized overview like the screenshots are nice for this but if you want to have a concise place a mind map always is uh, quite helpful and you can put down all the functions and uh, features and this kind of is important for the information architecture to if later on you will have more functions or if you see the app layout um, what would work where and also um, this seems to be a not native app a native app uh, for android would look somewhat different as, as well for um, ios so this is most likely an app that's the same for ios and android um, which is not ideal but okay um, but this uh, tree helps you to identify like how is everything structured, what's where, um, how do the interactions work, what's interactable and what not. And once I'm done with the whole mind map thing, I try to consolidate everything and uh, put some more notes in it. And finally uh, try to kind of get an idea of what the main issues might be. So that's done by collecting all the different things, um, organizing them and uh, kind of ranking the issues uh, by, by size. So some issues might be easy to fix but not that important. And uh, if you want to have issues that have impact, you might work on the bigger issues than fixing the smaller ones. Although the smaller ones uh, kind of might add up to your UX debt. 
But uh, for now, let's focus on the big issues. This is basically how I approach such a review. Next up, I'll walk you through like the three major findings and show you some screens and we go in the board again to see what we find. Here we are in the board. Uh, we have everything laid out. Like on top, we have our mind map, then we have our UX issues, and then the most important issues over here. We have uh, one place for the onboarding, then we have one for the first view of the home screen, uh, my first workout I did here and what I noticed, and um, the lessons options, I didn't go too much into that. I don't think this uh, is too important right now. Um, then there's the training plan area and finally groups, progress and the menu. And also um, like in between I got notifications about scheduling, workouts and information about the strength um, score. But these are not super important, this is more this, these two play into the issue of um, notifications I got and I couldn't find again. Um, so let's see the first issue I had was this one a lot of texts and explanations and uh, like or steps you have to do in order to use the app so this is um, I'm not counting uh, but this seems to be a lot of screens you have to go through before you actually enter the home screen this is about a uh, more than 20 steps or even maybe 30 steps before you actually have the final click skip for now here or go to the gym and then you get to the home screen this is a lot of work if it's your first time using the app and in parallel you also get like your first email from them and later on you get uh, I think a bunch more emails here's three emails by then and uh, Later on, this is email number four, and in parallel to this, we get like more information in the app, which we can find again, my second point, and um, again, more information here. I think this is part of the app, and I mean, they, they, uh, it's evidence-based uh, fitness training, which is a good approach, and I, I like it, and I want to use it, but I feel like I would, also prefer to just start working out and getting to use the app instead of having to read so much uh, but this might be my own preference um, here is where you might want to find out more about the about their personas about the people actually paying for the app because this is a main driver um, i think for for monetization um, the coaches and um, i have no idea how the app um, is different once you start using a coach but this is something you might find out if you actually talk to the product persons. So the first thing is I would suggest improving the onboarding because it's so much and I believe a lot of users might jump ship here and abort the process. It's too much for now or they might just skip through all of them and it might be nice to have this information but maybe improve how you display it, when you display it, and uh, where I as a user can find it. This plays kinder into the second point. Information disappears and I don't know where to find it again. Um, this was, for example, the case with um, the first uh, time I opened the home screen, you get some information about how it works, start a workout, view your workouts, your daily activities, your lessons, your virtual gym floor, and these explain step by step um, the, the app areas home training plan groups progress menu but how about just showing them once I enter maybe uh, the training plan or the groups because these areas are actually there I can see them and maybe if I tap them I might be interested in them and uh, also later in the app uh, after finishing my first workout I think I got some notifications I over here but I I didn't swipe through them I just clicked next and they were gone so I was wondering what's the next screen here but it might just be uh, the floor crunch and the other kind of workout here and not one more I mean it's a congratulation message it's some kind of gamification it would be nice to actually see my uh, achievement again in the app or know where to find it and finally um, yeah here's some more information about 
what was this a scheduling workouts um, this is when I was creating the mind map it suddenly showed me this uh, workout um, thing and what to do and it's just so much there are better ways to do this finally we have the optimized workout flow because once you're done with all the setup and the information that disappears that's fine you're finally going through your workouts and um, for me first time using it uh, might be different if you use it more times but I noticed a few things here you have a set you're supposed to do so you do the floor crunch lying leg hip raise and then the front plank and this is a set and after the set you're supposed to rest so once I start with the floor crunch it actually here tells me to rest two minutes so I'm already confused should I rest after the floor crunch or after the whole set and then it says something about how many uh, repetitions I should do and in the introduction it says about uh, do as much uh, try to get as many as possible and here it's a number 10 to 12 so I'm, I'm confused and then also I, I'm doing a certain number of um, reps here so what, what does a timer do here is a timer I can put it to one two three four minutes and it's running up here but it's 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 not helping me at all I don't I'm confused so and uh, once I'm finally done I can um, input the number I did here and then I have to scroll all the way down for the next set but I would say um, this is like kind of far away would be way easier to have the next set button right below where you actually input the number and then skip to the next set once you do this you land with the next exercise here's something strange here's maybe maybe this is supposed to be an infinity I don't know this might be just a, a mistake a little bug but it uh, threw me off a little bit and um, again here the red button right below here would be way easier to uh, go on and once I'm done wait to the second one then I come to the front plank and again this is uh, a lot to a lot of information to input here I should input the minutes the seconds and the kilograms um, granted if you input the minutes the seconds are usually automatically set to zero but it's it's like a lot of getting up your keyboard I, I wonder I'm not sure if there's a better way to actually input the numbers like a wheel or a slider depends uh, how much uh, what, what's a typical input like is it one two three four five minutes or is it like a range from one to two hundred then it would be difficult but if it's a small range uh, might be smarter ways to input a number than to use the keyboard here and um, as I finish the set and it would be nice to actually remind me to do my break right here and so the instruction said to have a break after the set so this would be a good time to if I hit next set to have a intermediate screen telling me to rest for two minutes and then the counter would make sense but um, this is not happening this would be a nice uh, yeah more smooth transition between the sets yeah then I looked into the different options here we have the overview tab the history tab and I'm I would be interested in seeing the numbers how much they've used actually if this is a good use of yeah, the information hierarchy here uh, and once you're in history you have no way to complete the superset you always have to go back to track uh, which might make sense but this is something the whole layout for the workout I think is something to, to improve and um, especially if you use it daily this could start to get annoying this was it for now and uh, yeah again with the notifications notification center might be nice or some kind of incentive uh, or, or some kind of um, collection of my information for example uh, here in the top of the dashboard we have uh, the two cards here why not put the information there so whenever there's something new add a new card this would be a quick idea so this is basically how I go through these kind of apps and how I would um, create a first quick analysis the next step actually would be to polish this whole thing up to to make a nice uh, polished presentation a report and then go over it with a product person or someone actually working there but um, that's not part of the video thank you for watching 
if you work for Caliber, feel free to reach out. I'd love to get some feedback. Maybe if I hit some points here, if not, also be interesting. And um, if you're watching this to learn more about UX, let me know how to improve this kind of video. Um, I want to continue doing reviews of apps because this way I can actually deliver content and uh, like um, a real insight about what I do and not just talk. This way you can see it more applied. And uh, I plan to do another app review soon. Um, let me know if you're interested and maybe also what app to review and if yeah that's it for now thank you see you in next one bye